I'm going to be showing you today how to create this interesting surrealistic collage. First, I'm going to show you how to create these bubbles and give them the highlights and shadows to make them look three-dimensional. You can do this with any photograph. Um, all you have to do is uh, you're going to use the rectangular marquee tool and hold the shift key down while you select a square area. Um, it'll automatically be a square and not a rectangle as long as you hold the shift key down the entire time you're selecting the square. You can also just move the selection around um, until you get the exact area you want to copy. And then you're going to hit edit copy and then you're going to do file new and it will be the exact correct size as the area you copied. The only thing is I want you to change the PSI to 300 to make it higher resolution. And then edit paste. And then you're going to do filter. And you're going to hit distort. And then spherize. And it will, and you're going to make it 100%, it will turn into a sphere. Now, you need to be able to change the size to an even number. So um, you're going to change, you do image, image size, and I'm going to change it to 3 inches. It was 3.6 inches. So I'm, now it's an even number. You go up to the ruler at the on the side, and you just um, drag it over. And the ruler at the top and drag it over to the midpoint. So that's a one and a half inches. So you pull the top ruler over to create a guideline and then the side ruler over to create a guideline. So now you have the crosshairs are right in the middle. Now if you hit the option key and the shift key at the same time and you use the uh, round marquee tool, you will start at the exact center of the circle and you can pull it out until it is um, the exact same size as the sphere that you created. And then you just edit copy, edit, paste. Um, you're going to do file new and it'll create the exact correct size and then edit paste into a new document. Now I'm going to pull up the uh, burn tool and I'm going to create a shadow on my sphere with the burn tool. And then I'm going to create a new layer but this new layer is going to have certain properties. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, an, under mode, I'm going to create color dodge, okay? And it's going to be a color dodge layer. Now, go to the paintbrush and set the flow to about 6% and the opacity to, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe 60 or 80%. Um, anyway, you can adjust the paintbrush and you're actually going to create the highlights using the color dodge in this new layer. So uh, a color, you can adjust the paintbrush just the way you'd adjust any other paintbrush. The only thing is the foreground color has to be white and the background color has to be black. So you have to use the default colors, um, otherwise it won't work. So. Now I'm creating the highlights for my bubble. And uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is adjust those highlights by using the smear tool. So uh, the smear tool can be adjusted just like any other brush, uh, make it wider or thinner, but I'm going to use sort of curved strokes and kind of push around my uh, and smear my my highlights again I'm in the layer above my clouds right now um, when I'm done with that I'm going to do edit transform uh, distort and I'm going to I mean edit transform warp and I'm actually going to warp the highlights to make them look a little bit rounder and more spherical so that's what I'm doing now and now, in the process of warping, some of the um, some of the smudges might have gotten outside the circle. So I'm also going to take my eraser and erase the excess. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like if I hide the top layer. That's my original sphere, and that's what it looks like with the with the um, highlights on top of it using the color dodge mode. When you're satisfied with how it looks, hide the bottom layer, the white layer, and save the file as a PNG, that's a portable network graphic. Give it a name so you can easily find it. I call this cloud bubble. 
and then you're going to open up the cloud bubble and uh, the PNG in the PNG format. So it's all in one layer um, with no background. And you're going to do edit copy and then edit paste and you're going to paste it into your collage as one of the layers. At which point you can edit it, transform it, change its size, rotate it, adjust what layer it's in, whether you want it in the foreground or background, and play around with your composition. And that's how I was able to create this surrealistic um, bubble collage. When you're completely done with this collage, you're going to save it as a JPEG, but make sure to look at the image size before you save it. Generally, we try and make sure that our, our images are 300 pixels per square inch and that we can print them on 11 by 17 paper. So keep that in mind so you don't accidentally save some sort of huge file. And that's the basics of how you create um, a surrealistic bubble collage. This is Rachel Winneberg, the helpful art teacher.